hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today i'm going to show you how you can share folder and provide permission to that share folder to any specific user so let me show you step by step now i'm going to run menu here run and this is my computer name so whenever you need to access the share folder you need to um, mention or you need to enter the uh, server or computer IP adding by here uh, double backslash to access the shared folder and click OK so you can see here there is no any shared folder on this PC so let me share one folder and provide the rights for you so now I am going to create here one folder like test sharing folder and let me share this so I am going properties here go to this sharing and advanced sharing you can share by going here option like share but you, you will go with the advanced sharing option share this folder select this check this mark and go to the permission so by default everyone user will be added here so and the permission will be read only mode for the everyone if you want to uh, provide the permission for every user like to read write you need to select this change option or if you want to provide full control you need to select the full control but mostly uh, everyone user have uh, the read only access now we'll see here by giving the uh, a specific permission or full control to any other user so now here i am going to uh, enter one user it user i have created one user here on this pc so you can see it's fine and the desktop hyphen u9 5f h79 is the computer name of this pc means this is the host name of this pc uh, one more thing if you are going to share a, a folder in the domain environment means uh, the computer or server is joined to the domain then you need to go to the location and once you will click through the location then here you can see the uh, domain name like it parivar or test or xyz.com domain name so if you are going to provide uh, permission or rights on the shared folder to any domain user you need to select the domain and click ok here it is this pc is not in domain so this is so just it's showing the this computer name but if it will be in domain or if your pc will be in domain then here the domain will, name will be visible so you need to select that domain name click ok and then click ok so now if you want to provide the full control just you need to select the full control otherwise if you want to, to provide read write so just need to select the change or if you want to provide only read access then you need to select the read but here i am going to provide full control to this user for now and going to apply ok apply ok and close this now i am going to the run and let's see by access so you can see here now testing share fold sharing folder is shared and visual here let us try to create any files or folder here you can see you need permission to perform this section test sharing folder why we are not able to create here because i have logged in on this pc with this user you can see the username is uk but we have provided the full control rights to the it user so let us jump on the testing sharing folder again here 
go to the sharing tab you can see here go to the permission only it user it user have the full control but as we tried as we logged in on this pc with the uk user so we'll try to provide the full control to the uk user as well and then we'll see if we are able to create any folder or files in this sharing folder or not so check names now it's find click ok and provide the full control just for the testing apply ok apply ok and close this close this window so now go to the run menu access this pc again and testing sharing folder as we have provided the full control for this user also so we'll try to create the file yes now we are able to create file inside this testing sharing folder let us try to create any test folder yes we are now able to create the folder also so in this way you can provide the uh, permission to the any specific user like full control or read write 